and welcome. This is Chani Nebnani, and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. Three tropical cyclones now churning in the Atlantic. The Atlantic hurricane season remains very active with three named systems in the basin. The Atlantic basin continues its hot streak as tropical storms Jerry and Lorenzo and tropical depression Karen all continued to swirl over the region. While it's the least organized of the storms, tropical depression Karen is still holding center stage when it comes to concerns to land in the Caribbean. Despite the storm being downgraded in strength, tropical storm warnings remain posted Monday night for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Tropical storm force winds are expected to impact the warned islands by early on Tuesday along with heavy rainfall as much as 200 millimeters for some before the storm moves out into the open ocean once again early on Wednesday. These rains may cause flash flooding and mudslides especially in mountainous areas, the NHC says. The storm is expected to re-intensify through the end of this week, after which the NHC calls its track low confidence as model guidance diverges on the storm's fate. This may still be one of the watch for the Bahamas and Southeast US. For the north, tropical storm Jerry is holding on to its strength despite an unfavorable environment. The storm is moving slowly in a northwestward direction, taking it on a path with its center expected to pass near Bermuda by late on Tuesday. A tropical storm warning remains in effect for Bermuda. With up to 75 millimeters of rain possible across the island through on Wednesday and the risk for life-threatening surf and rip current conditions. Swells generated by Jerry are beginning to increase along the coast of Bermuda and they will continue to affect the island during the next few days, the NHC says. Swells will affect portions of the northern Leeward Islands and Puerto Rico for another day or so. Moisture from tropical storm Jerry will also get drawn up into a developing low pressure system that will track into Atlantic Canada this week, bringing moderate to heavy rainfall for some. The third disturbance forecasters have been watching is now tropical storm Lorenzo, which formed over the far eastern Atlantic on Monday. This storm will likely be with us for at least the next week as it crosses the Atlantic. It is expected to reach major hurricane strength over the open ocean sometime late this week. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Chani Nebnani. For more weather updates, do like, subscribe and share our channel.